Copyright is something that every single content creator that comes on this platform or Twitch or any social media deals with. Did you accidentally start watching the whole of Naruto on stream? Banned. Did you accidentally play a background song from an anime that you really like for too long? Copyright. All of these cases are pretty bad, but you never hear of a content creator getting sued. Until on February 1st, Soy got sued for using Pokemon content in his videos. And to be more specific, he got sued by the company by the name of Showpro. This company has series under its belt such as Inuyasha, the whole of Pokemon IP, and most recently has ownership over Komi Can't Communicate. But before getting into the case, I want to talk about fair use. Because realistically, fair use has been a term that has been thrown around the whole space of YouTube without any proper definition, and realistically, most YouTubers just use it to get out of problems. Fair use permits a party to use a copyright work without the copyright owner's permission. For purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, and teaching. We'll not throw everything I just said out of the window because in Japan, fair use just isn't a thing. And unless all your videos are on Castlevania, I'm pretty sure all of anime YouTube is in danger. So now let's get into the case of Suede. According to the video that he posted, he made a lot of reviews on Pokemon. And by a lot, I mean he mentioned a number of 200 plus videos. After Suede posted all of his videos, Jopro decides to file a lawsuit, which only sues him for 89 or 82 of those videos for a fine of $700. Now for anyone watching this video, you might think, oh, that isn't that bad. But this lawsuit falls into a special category that literally everybody in the law scene hates, a slap suit. A slap suit is an acronym for strategic lawsuit against public participation, which is sole purpose is legal bullying. Getting you, the person that's getting sued, to A, shut the f*** up, B, to harass the person being sued, or in this case, harass Wade for using Pokemon IP. Now you might be wondering, why doesn't he just fight it or pay it, or you have a bunch of things going through your mind right now? But there's a twist. This case was filed in Japan, and if you don't know anything about Japan, it has a 99.9% .9 conviction rate. So either they're always right, or something's going on. So let's say Suede decides to not pay it. But with the copyright claims already going through YouTube, his channel is basically gone. His new channel is going to be in the description of this video. Subscribe, give him some support. He literally has to start from ground zero again, which is a pain in the ass, so just support him. But his old YouTube channel is absolutely gone. Whether he pays the fine or not, it's over. Because if he pays the fine, he admits that he was in the wrong, and YouTube basically says goodbye to his old channel. If he doesn't pay, he still loses his YouTube channel. And as most weebs dreams is to go to Japan, if he ever decides to go to Japan, he'll be stopped right at the border, taken either to prison or court and instantly fined. And if you still think he should get a lawyer because he still has a chance, it's 99.9%. .9%. I doubt he's going to win the 0.1 with a country that doesn't even have a fair use law yet. So now let's go through the future problems that other manga or anime creators might have. Now you might be thinking that because Totally Not Mark got all his videos reinstated against Toei Animation means that we still have a chance, which you are absolutely wrong in. Totally Not Mark was able to use YouTube's Americanized system to basically get past Japanese law and get those videos reinstated. But thanks to Japan not having any type of fair use law, they could easily just abuse their local law system, file multiple slap suits against multiple anime creators, and I'm talking Gigek, I'm talking the anime man, I'm talking everybody in the anime community, and in turn basically killing all of the anime based content. Unless you use literally no anime clips and literally no manga panels in your videos. But to show you how bad it would get, this is a full Japanese review of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. One of the biggest, most anticipated movies in the whole series of Jujutsu Kaisen. And one of the highest selling movies in the last six months. And throughout this whole video, nothing from the actual movie was shown unless it was in a trailer and it's a screenshot. No clips. Nothing that could put that channel in jeopardy. And this is not a small channel by any means. This is a channel with 58,000 subscribers and 100,000 views on that video. Compared to its American counterpart, let's just watch the first 10 seconds of that. Other shonen, another movie. And without a doubt, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero did not disappoint. Did you catch that? Did you see that? That thing coming out of the smoke? Without a doubt, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero did not disappoint. Oh, right, right there. It's a lawsuit. And these two videos just shows the huge disparity between Japanese content and American content. Japanese law and American law. And this disparity is shown even more under the perspective of the content that's being made on their anime or manga. For example, I made a video on Boku no Hero basically saying the manga is a little bit disappointing. Now, with the Western audience, you could easily see this and say, okay, this is a critique or just a basic opinion. But when a Japanese company sees this, they basically see it as a threat or an attack when realistically, I I never had those intentions when making that video, but they still see it as so. So, uh, see you in court, Horikoshi san. And the thing is, Shopro isn't even a big company whatsoever. I mean, look at the big picture. You don't exactly hear anybody saying, oh, I can't wait for the next Shopro works. But what I am worried about is if the bigger companies see this, such as Shueisha, that basically runs the biggest magazine in the whole manga industry, could easily file the same case that Shopro did and basically kill off 90% of anime or manga YouTubers. And going back to the Totally Not Mark situation, you could easily see this being done by Toei Animation. And it doesn't help 
at all that the company overall just hasn't had a good track record. And the worst part about it that doesn't help at all is the fact that these companies just don't want to be bothered with an international audience. Because realistically, they're doing just fine with Japan alone. Why do you think it takes an extra six months to just get Jujutsu Kaisen Zero to be translated to English so we can finally watch it or to finally get it in theaters? And why do you think Oshinoko has a French translation, a Spanish translation, but not an English translation? Because realistically, they're not interested in an international audience the way that they're interested in keeping their main audience in Japan. Because even from the dawn of history, we were never their target audience. We just sort of happened to turn into weebs. Although one good thing to take out of this is the fact that fair use is being more and more accepted by these anime companies. And this is partially thanks to the Trash Taste Boy. Giga, the Anime Man, and Sea Dog VA are all signed under Kadokawa. Now, if you don't know who Kadokawa is, I'll list a couple of their works for you. Your Name, Bunny Senpai, Overlord, Shield Hero, Sword Art Online, Mushoku Tensei, Tenki no Ko, No Game, No Life, Zero, and so many more. But the point is, thanks to the Trash Taste Boys and the fact that they're able to have these connections within the anime industry, it doesn't get us to the point where fair use is absolutely accepted, but at least it's a step in the right direction. What isn't a step in the right direction is the people that literally upload full-on episodes of anime to YouTube. Why? You're not helping us at all. And that's when I understand when they take down an anime video because realistically, that's just straight up pirating. And in my opinion, reaction channels that just react to full-on anime episodes should be taken down as well and it's understandable why they're taken down. Because I mean, if streamer number one got banned for it, I think reaction channel number 252 should be banned for it as well. Which leads me to my final point, the fix. Geo blocking is a feature that YouTube uses to basically block certain content from certain countries. For example, I posted this clip on my all channel and it got blocked by these countries. Geo blocking is already something that YouTube does themselves, but what if the content creators themselves could decide which countries to block their content from? I mean, realistically, most English speaking content isn't going to Japan. Hell, it probably isn't going to the majority of South America because most of the target audience of those people is the US and maybe a little bit of the UK. And this is honestly all up to YouTube. And knowing YouTube's actions in the past, we have a one in a hundred chance that we get this feature available. And geoblocking, unironically, is already a feature that's available if you have an MCN backing you, which is basically an acronym for multi-channel network. And some of these MCNs actually offer geoblocking as a feature to joining their multi-channel network. But again, this isn't going to fix the problem for people like me, people like Suede as well. He's not a small content creator by any way, but we all know damn well no multi-channel network is going to accept a 20k Andy. Or we can just hope that Japan changes his laws, but to be honest, that is not happening whatsoever. So don't pray on it. Don't hope that Japan is going to change its laws all of a sudden for fair use. So if you're hoping for the Japanese government to actually add a fair use law, I'm going to give you a reality check. It's most likely never or probably not in a long time going to happen. And one final reminder, Swate's new channel is in the description of this video. Subscribe to him. He definitely needs your support because he literally has to start from ground zero. But you know who also needs your support? Me. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Make sure to subscribe to Swate's new channel. In the comments, let me know which one is worse with copyright, Nintendo or the anime industry. So yeah, deuces!